Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here, and it is yet another glorious bagel Sunday. 57 degrees, but sunny. Feels good. Right now, I am going to conduct an experiment because I have noticed that since I started using this Hollyland stuff, that I hear the scraping noise more than I ever did on any other system that I've used. That's annoying to me because it automatically jumps out at me that I can hear it. And I'm like, okay, I've buttoned my damn shirt up, an extra button, moved it up. The seat belt isn't touching it. Why the hell am I getting that scraping noise? Finally, Dumb Monkey decided this morning to rub the fur on, on the dead cat and realized that it makes a lot of noise. Now, when you rub that fur on, say, the DJI mic or the Rode mic, it doesn't make that kind of noise but it really makes a noise, like audibly, just doing that without the microphone on or anything, just right there. So that's telling me that every time I move that it is going to make that noise because obviously the dead cat is at the top, right? Where the freaking microphone is. So I'm not wearing the dead cat. I don't know what this is gonna sound like because I don't have a dead cat on it. And I, I mean, it's not like I'm outside where it's windy. We'll see what happens with that too. That's today's experiment. Everything that I'm gonna to do today, I'm gonna to do without a dead cat. Not that I'm gonna be doing anything spectacular, but it is supposed to be nice, but considerably cooler. Today, it, it may actually do what it's supposed to do. Anyways, I'm gonna go get my bagels. I'm freaking hungry. Okay, bagels gotten. Let's go home and snarf. All right, kids, another change, just for shits and giggles. So I watched a video from Marcus Picks last night. The videos just was, you're watching all these YouTubers, these influencers, and they're convincing you that you need to shoot and log and do all this color grading and all this like time consuming stuff. And he also just like totally ripped on him. I was like, you gotta wear your hat. You gotta say this, you gotta do that. You gotta, you know, you gotta show off and do all this crap. And he goes, you know, I don't know, maybe just learn how to use your camera and learn about, you know, photography principles and you'll be good to go. And he said, you wanna save some time? Okay, there's like a number of ways that you can take better pictures and take better videos. And it all basically sized up to you have to control the lighting if you can. If you can't, you can do HDR, but HDR isn't practical because you have to have it on a tripod, da 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 da, you know, all this kind of stuff. And he said every camera system has a feature that helps you produce a better picture as far as the dynamic range and all that kind of stuff. And he said he shoots primarily on Sony's and he goes, and it's right down to like the point and shoots that he uses. He said, you can use this thing called dynamic range optimizer. And what that does is that it's almost like it, it does the post work in camera before you even take the picture or shoot the video. And it analyzes the scene and it gives you, you know, the the highlights it fixes and the shadows it fixes and all that kind of stuff. And he went through and said like what it was for Sony, Canon, Nikon, things like that. And he showed a number of examples of how it, it fixes it. And, and then it just saves you all the time from having to use a log and then go through and do a LUT and color grade and fix this and fix that. And he said, you know, this is, you set this setting and then you just go with it. So. I'm pleasantly surprised because I switched my camera to that. Uh, not first thing this morning that I switched it since, you know, I came back from getting bagels and now I'm looking at it and yeah, I mean, it is a bright sunny sky right at high noon, but look at out the window. Like you can still see all the colors of the trees and all that kind of stuff. I'm lit well, I think perfectly for now on this ZVE one, I thought that I would just give it a whirl and see how things go with that dynamic range optimizer on. Now that, of course, is a setting. You literally go in and it was grayed out for me. So I clicked on it because usually when you try to click on something that you're not allowed to do, it tells you why you're not allowed to do it. And when I did it, it said, you know, this can't be used because you have a picture profile set. So obviously I had it on S Cinetone and I went in and shut that off and automatically the, the uh, dynamic range optimizer came on. And again, I mean, I can still see outside perfectly, even, even in this window right here. And I think I look perfectly 
you know, like evenly lit and everything looks great. So, okay. So that's two changes for today's video. No dead cat on the transmitter because I found on this Hollyland it picks up every movement of, of the fur from the dead cat. And I also now have it on dynamic range optimizer. So a lot for you guys to look at and listen to and tell me what you think. I am now on my way to do some grocery shopping and then I'm gonna go get some bean and then I'm gonna get back early because last week I started shit way too late for my normal office day and I didn't get a lot done and it stressed me out. So I'm gonna go take care of all that shit as much as I can today. So let's go freaking grocery shop. You're shit in your eye. Also today, I only got the shot, but I also got the lemon drink because I'm so freaking thirsty today. Also, third change. Instead of having it on hi-fi, I put it on low cut. Why not? Let's see what that does. Stop looking at the screen. All right, kids. So here we are, the final test for today. That is actually being in the studio so that we can see how this looks and how this sounds. Now, one thing that was kind of bugging me is that I was used to having everything set high and then dropping it when I got into Final Cut. When I was editing last night, everything was kind of low. I don't know if it sounded okay, if it was loud enough, if it was too low or not, but that still bothered me. So I just turned the, uh, the mic gain from zero to three, to plus three. So that's the only other change. But for now, like looking at the screen here, I mean, yes, I have all the different colors doing different things. So if it's in focus, it's yellow and all that shit and blah, 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 blah. But for now, it looks to me like everything, the color looks good. Um, you know, as far as like the color of the board, my shirt, the blue light behind me, you know, the skull and all that shit. So I think it looks pretty good. So the final time I'm gonna say it and ask it and let you know what I'm talking about. I have done a number of changes after watching Marcus Picks, I decided to try out that the dynamic range optimizer or whatever they call it. And then for the audio, I switched it from hi-fi to low cut and I eliminated the dead cat from the transmitter because I kept picking up the scraping sound. And I also just now for this segment in the studio turned the gain up to plus three from zero. So I'm talking normal like I always do and sometimes I get a little loud and, and I'm very animated and all that stuff. And you know, everything looks and seems like it sounds pretty good. You know, at least as far as the, the audio signal here on the receiver, it looks like it's going where it should, but it doesn't actually have the, the number on it. You know, like it's supposed to be between minus 12 and minus six. And up there on the camera, like, I don't know, it's kind of worthless and it's behind the door anyways and I can never see it. So I just go by what's on the, on the uh, receiver. That's pretty much it. I, I don't plan on changing anything else or doing anything else today. I'm gonna go through and listen to all this footage, probably cut this video together, in which case if I did, you're watching it. If I didn't, you would never know. So there you go. All right, you're gonna finish laundry. Also, I need to eat dinner. I don't wanna do that sooner rather than later. And then I need to start doing day job stuff. So that's all you got for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, Forward and up.